My name's Jenny Jones. I am the Gypsy and Travellers Officer for Warsaw Council and I am currently based on the Willinore Lane Caravan Site new refurbished site office and community building. We offer a service of housing. We offer the plots which have been refurbished and we are currently offering plots to families who otherwise are on the road side or in need of a plot. We also offer assistance through the Flouton Support Service for help with anybody who needs welfare benefits, access to education, access to health, i.e. the doctor who have been denied that access in the past. We offer a service of a monthly health to surgery here in the community room. We have a mobile dentist that comes on the site now, so people who don't normally get to get to the dentist now can access the dentist service. We are working in partnership as well at the moment with WHG to access the people in the house communities who are tenants of WHG who are not accessing services that they should be accessing or could be accessing. And through the community champions, we're addressing this issue with the Gypsy and Travelling community. lived here all of my life. I was born here. Um, we moved when I was 11. Uh, my dad bought a site in Cannock. Then I moved here uh, three years ago and I just came back to live here. We're the gypsies who come from the colourful wagons and the black and white horses. We're Romany gypsies. Is it nice living here? Yes, it's, it's very good here but like I said, still needs a lot doing to it, you know what I mean? When it's finished, there still needs a fair bit doing to it. You had a bathroom which wasn't a bathroom. You had a bath in it with a little tiny eater. You had a sink. That was it, and a toilet. That was it, nothing else. So I think you can do a lot to improve it. What sort of things? Um, we could have been made gardens. We're, we're our Roman gypsy culture, and we're used to flowers and trees and nature. Yeah. We live off the land. For about 10 years, I've lived on the old site and then they made the new site, didn't they? I'd been here for 10 years. The, the lavatories and things, the, the building was falling down all. It was horrible and the tarmac was all holes in the tarmac. It was a mess, a disgrace, a mess. Yeah. It's got cleaner. Right. A lot cleaner. Uh, we've got utilities now, which we didn't have before. And um, it's quite nice on here, quite nice. We could do with uh, some more, well, they're doing it now, actually, the tarmac, you know. We could do with street lights. Well, there's a lot of, like, uh, handiwork we need doing and stuff like that, you know what I mean? With odds and ends. Right. He's doing you know, bits and pieces. It's nice and peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> That's my answer. It's nice and peaceful. And when I moved in there, it was soaking, all the tiles were coming up, mm. cracks on the wall. So they still need to be done, and I've been on there now nearly three years, I think, yeah. Like, like anybody else, like, I, I, I'm asthmatic, I am. And if I, you know, I just, I go to D and things. Before, it was hard for us to get a doctor. And then they made a new book about, we take it to our doctor now, and he'll tell us what, what medication we're on and everything. So that's a new book we fetch out. Yeah, it's very hard for us to see a doctor. Um, sometimes when we go to a surgery, they won't see you unless you're registered and then even if you're registered they still have problems with uh, travellers, gypsies. Do you like going to the doctors? Oh, what, you? Want to go to the doctor? Do you what? need to go to the doctors? What for? For anything? Yeah. No, I told you. No, she don't go to doctors. Don't believe it, no. No. Because there's a lot of like things going around. There's chicken pox, there's measles. The another day ago, there was like uh, one site come down with chicken pox, and then you're frightened of your kids catching them because if you haven't got a doctor, I mean. But then there was like uh, a sickening and diarrhea going around, and your kids are getting that. So if you didn't have a doctor, it would be good to have a doctor, on, like you know, on standby to get something for your kids because they need something when they got that yeah. or when they got high temperatures and you don't want them to go in a fit with the temperature it'd be nice to get a doctor they give you a scripture to get them something i think sometimes when they go and ask you know go to a receptionist and say they want to register i think it's when they hear the address that you haven't got a permanent address or if you're on the road they don't want to say well we're full up they listen to us and they understand us 
where if we go out, I don't know, to a surgery, for instance, we we're, 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 we do be refused. No, they'll say, we're sorry, we're not taking any other patients on. Well, we have to come down and get one of our support workers, Jenny, Christine, whoever, Dee, Sam, um, to come up and for them to speak on our behalf because we're, we're, we're speaking but can't hear us. There's dentists coming, dentists comes down here, well, well dentists just check out teeth and things. There's women who comes here and checks the babies and checks whoever else. That's it. We've had a mobile dentist, which was very, very good because even to myself, over not never going to a dentist, you're, you're frightened, mm. you know, and it's things like this we need, like with our younger children, with our grandchildren, to bring them up to this so that they're not frightened. But we get blamed for travellers, and we're different. We're, we're English gypsies, Romani gypsies. We've been in, in this world for years and years, and um, that's our culture. But we do. We don't like going to the doctors and things. We like having herbs and things, you know, taking tea, drinking tea and things. When gypsy children went to school years ago, they were always called gypsy and like an outcast. Mm -hmm. well, we do get a lot of abuse from the school around children go to school. They always call them gypos and things like that. And it knocks them back a lot, you know, love. Then they don't want to go. Because they learn them, there's a lot of things going on in schools, ain't there? Drugs and all sorts of things. You keep your children away from that as much as you can. So after they've gone to the little school and they can read and write, that is it for a girl. Not not for a boy so much. A boy, you can, you know. But for a girl, no, they, they stop at the age of 11. Yeah, I'm not allowed a boyfriend till I'm 17. I'm not allowed to do anything till after marriage, you know. I'm not allowed to drink or go after dancers. So they really are strict. Well, it's better off that way, because if there wasn't struck, then I'd be out doing things now where I would, where I would regret. Do you think you would be the same when you have a daughter? Yeah. You would carry that on? Yeah. 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 You know, it's like, it's, he's 12. He's nearly, he'd be 13 in November. He's not allowed to leave this site. He's not allowed to wander off up the streets and things. It's, it's just, you don't allow it. Is that right, Rocky? Yeah, yeah that's, that's why it's boring on everybody. They're just not allowed to do them things. Because we still ain't getting nowhere, do you know what I mean? We still get court names and things. And I was on a newspaper the other day ago with the gypsies, but they takes our name for somebody else, for the travellers. Romany gypsy wouldn't do things like that. A Romany gypsy keeps their place clean and around them clean. Well, for instance, you, you can walk into like a shop, a pub, or a and they look at you as if, and you can hear them talking about you. They've got to understand the way we live and the way we've been brought up and the way we're in, we're in, we intend to live. And we don't like our name, you know, gypsy. Get, if somebody makes a mess here, breaks them and go to gypsies. But they ain't gypsies. And Romany wouldn't do that. Although this is our, we, like, this is our home, but we always have to look out for one each other's children, right. you know? We don't know who's driving in. I think it's on the way out. Because you can't... There's not as many Romanies about. There are still quite a few that's on the road. But I think when you come, in, when you come on a site or go in a house, I think that your Romany... I think you kind of lose it more. And even as we grew up now, we, we knew how to speak in Romany and our parents did. But you ask a child now these days, they haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Jason. If only they'd work with us, they'd have, they'd have that better of an outcome for themselves and everyone else. It's unreal. But they just won't sit down and take the time to understand. It was, it was a misery to live on here, but we lived on here and most of us was grateful. Yeah, and it's getting better. Oh yes, it's getting a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, the biggest part of this job is listening to what the Gypsy and Travelling community want.